Greetings from DBS Group Research. I'm Temur Beg, Chief Economist, here to tell you about our 10 key themes for 2020. Markets are off to the races this year, with recent trade, jobs, and spending data pointing to a decent end to 2019 for both the Chinese and the U.S. economies, providing a substantial tailwind. Ample liquidity, low interest rates, bottom in the electronic cycle, relaxed fiscal policy stands in the major economies, and a trade war detente have set conditions for a well-supported macro environment, at least for the first half of this year. But plenty of other potentially destabilizing factors will weigh in on economies and markets, in our view. Potential spoilers include forthcoming U.S. elections, continued China-U.S. rivalry, civil unrest in several countries, cyber attack and pandemic risks, and increasingly frequent natural disasters partly related to climate change. With these in mind, our first theme is actually non-economic factors. Phase one trade deal notwithstanding, the U.S., in our view, will continue to push back China on tech dominance, human rights, and territorial matters. Such tensions will continue to hurt investment environment worldwide, which was a potential drag last year and will unfortunately remain so this year. Also, from bushfire in Australia to incidences of floods here and droughts there, climate-related costs and awareness are on the rise, and we expect such matters to influence policy agenda and the economic outlook increasingly. However, we don't think markets are quite pricing those scenarios fully yet. Our second theme is China. A key concern for us is for the monetary policy stance of the PBOC and how it ensures ample liquidity in the system to alleviate rising credit risks. We expect PBOC's policy to have outsized impact on market sentiments, capital flows, financial stability, and the RMB. Our third theme is Hong Kong, which was a beleaguered part of Asia last year because of the civil unrest. We think the worst might be over if a large-scale fiscal stimulus manages to ease social unrest to some extent. We remain hopeful that a technical recession in Hong Kong would be avoided in the second half of 2020 on the back of that stimulus. Our fourth theme, and this is an important one, is a global electronic cycle, which we expect to bottom out this year, driven by 5G commercialization, rising demand related to artificial intelligence and automotive. China turned on its 5G networks at end 2019, ahead of the initial 2020 schedule. It targets a 5G network coverage in all cities at prefecture level and above, starting from this year. Industry projections suggest that worldwide smartphone market will grow by 1.5% in 2020 after shrinking for three consecutive years. That too should help the electronic cycle. Our fifth theme is the 2020 Summer Olympics in Japan, uh, held in Tokyo from July 24 to August 9. This will be a display of Japan's soft power centered around sustainability. Initiatives include producing metals from recycled electronic devices, providing zero emission vehicles for transportation, supplying electricity based on renewable sources. Among other themes, which is from six to 10 for us this year, include the Brexit finale in the UK, which is ongoing, but will continue to have outsized impact on the outlook for the pound, India's financial sector restructuring, post-election reform and investment in Indonesia, something that we're quite hopeful about, continued strong growth in Vietnam, a big proxy to the China-US trade tension and the positive spillovers, and Singapore's pivotal budget in 2020. You can read about all these 10 themes in detail in the publication link provided here. You can also follow us on our website and our Twitter feed. Thank you.